Guess what, everybody? You ain't going to believe it. But Donald Trump won all five states last night. And the weirdest thing about it, and the bad thing about it, is people don't understand that Donald Trump is for America. Donald Trump will change what's going on. Donald Trump will put everything back in line. Donald Trump will make things happen. Does the Bible tell this? Yes, it does. Thessalonians talks about 14 and 16. Chapter 4. You don't believe me? Go look at it. It says, and the Trump will blow his horn. Is he doing that? Amen. Is he making things happen? Yes. And the worst thing about it, American people are getting sick and tired of what's happening right now. The lies and the problems. And this president, they're breaking the constitutional laws without Congress approval. How can he get away with that? We need to put our country back together. And let people know what we stand for. We are Americans. Hillary is not American. She is somebody that is American. But the bad thing about her is that Donald Trump's going to whip her so hard in November, just like Ronald Reagan did to Carter. Jimmy Carter and beat him by 15%. If this comes to be Hillary and Trump, Trump will play every one of his cards. Remember what I've been telling you about one of the videos I posted a couple months, about a month ago, that Donald Trump has shown all the 17s in his name. And the worst thing about it, Donald Trump's name is Donald John Trump Sr., Add all the letters up and you tell me what number he's got. American people believe the black people, the expanded people, Latino people are going to vote for Trump, not for Hillary, because they believe Trump will be the new line to open up our world. And the problem today is we don't have a world. We've got problems going on. We're losing our faith in our people. We're losing faith in the government. We're losing faith in people doing this. The stock markets are falling. Everything's going wrong. People are turning against people. And you need a president that knows what he's doing. You need somebody like Ronald Reagan when he told Gorbachev, Tear down this wall. But he did not tear the whole wall down. He only tore half of the wall down. It's the same thing with us. With us. We don't need a wall that's going to go up higher and higher and higher and higher. We need a wall that's going to close the gaps on all these things. And when Donald Trump's talking about building that wall... Do it, Donald. Show people they can't come in our American state. Be happy for who they are. I'm voting for Donald Trump. You should vote for Donald Trump. Trump has five letters in it. And it's kind of funny, Donald Trump won all five states before Hillary last night. And it weird that Donald Trump won all five states before Hillary last night. What's that tell you? What's that tell you? That Trump is going to palm the crap out of Hillary in November. And you're going to blow her away. It's going to be an early call like Reagan. So you vote. Make sure you vote for Donald Trump because we don't need no third Democrat in the office. We've never had a third Democrat at least as far as I know. And we do not let something go on. Again, talking is cheap. But what about all that money 
Americans said that if Donald Trump becomes president, they're leaving the United States. They're just talk, no action. Donald Trump's already promised that if he becomes president of the United States, the people that want to leave the United States, he will make it great and put it together like a puzzle. So then when the temple comes dipping up like this on top of a church, and all of a sudden the doors are locked, but those people in the doors that can't get out, then the church people have to come in. And the problem is today, we're losing our faith in everything. And it's so weird that even the guy known as Castro, which still is alive today, told our president to leave us alone. We don't want your help. Iran says, leave us alone. We don't want your help. But when Donald Trump comes in, he'll have all the cards played. A new beginning. All I can tell you, do not make a mistake. Vote Donald Trump. Thank you.